Once upon a time in the heart of France, there lived a passionate painter named Henri Royer. Born into a family known for its lithographic printing press in Nancy, Henri was destined to leave his mark on the world of art. As a young man, Henri ventured to Paris, the city of lights and dreams for many artists. There, he immersed himself in his studies at the prestigious Academy of Fine Arts and the Académie Julien, learning from masters like Jules-Joseph Lefebvre and François Flamain. Henri's talent shone brightly, and soon he was showcasing his work at the Salon, captivating audiences with his portraits, genre scenes, and landscapes. But Henri's spirit yearned for more than the accolades of the Parisian art scene. His heart was drawn to the rugged beauty and deep cultural roots of Brittany. Alongside his wife, Henri traveled to this enchanting region, and it was love at first sight. They settled first in Odierne and later in a quaint house in Primalin, where Henri found his true muse among the Breton people. Henri didn't just observe, he immersed himself in the community, learning the local dialect to connect more deeply with the people. He was fascinated not by the picturesque costumes, but by the soul of Brittany. Henri's faith and spirituality found resonance in the region's fervent religious practices. He was moved by the private prayers and solemnity of the pardon ceremonies, which he captured in his art with a delicate and elegant touch reminiscent of Ingre. Henry's work began to reflect the mystical and religious life of Brittany, focusing on solitary prayer and contemplation. His pastels and drawings showcased his refined elegance, earning him comparisons to the great Ingre and acclaim for his portraits. Despite his growing fame, Henri remained grounded in his community, his spirit intertwined with the land and people of Brittany. He continued to travel, exploring Europe and America, yet always returned to the place that had captured his heart. In the twilight years of his life, Henri's contributions to art and culture were celebrated. He taught at the Academy Julien and the School of Fine Arts in Paris, inspiring a new generation of artists with his wisdom and passion. Henri Royer's legacy is a testament to the power of connecting deeply with one's subjects, of seeing beyond the surface to the soul beneath. His work remains a tribute to the beauty of Brittany, and the depth of human spirit, inspiring all who encounter it to look closer and feel deeper.